Hey guys, Sensei Nick Pradhan here. Yeah. I'm going to give you guys a couple of chokes that you guys can do next week during Ground Defense Week. Sensei Sharon asked me to put a couple things together for you guys. So this week during my jiu-jitsu classes, I'm going to try to give you a couple uh, cool little moves that you guys can play around with. So um, this is Pete over here, and I'm going to use him for a little bit of my stuff. So first one I want to work on is the X choke. So the X choke from the guard here, um, I'm going to take my right arm, I'm going to bring this hand deep inside his gi, really, really high, almost up where the tag of his uniform is. Now, another little trick I like to do, if Pete tries to hide his chin here, I like to come underneath and pry it up with my forearm. This will help me get my other hand inside. So when I angle my body off, I angle off slightly, and then this hand is gonna come all the way inside, and I wanna go deep as possible where I'm touching my fingers in the back of his neck. I'll regard my legs, I'll squeeze his key and I'll roll my wrist in for the tap. So I'm inside here and I'm grabbing and I'm rolling down and pulling him into me. So it's not this motion here, it's more of a curl and a pull in. And that's called the X choke. So again, I'm in this position here, sometimes I'll open his uniform up, I'll take this hand and I'll bring it all the way inside as deep as I can. Next one, I angle off to the side slightly, I'll pry his neck up to make it easy to come under and I come under with this hand, reaching up as deep as I can. I'll regard my legs, pull down and squeeze in, and I get a nice tight tap. It's called the X choke. Number two choke I wanna do is called the paper cutter choke. Now the paper cutter is a really cool choke, very similar to the X choke, just a different setup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my thumb on this one. I'm gonna bring the guy into me and I'm gonna take my thumb and put it inside his gi all the way over here. I like the control of holding him down with this, Next step that I'm gonna do, take the right arm. I'm gonna bring it over to his gi on this side. It doesn't have to be real high. I don't wanna stop the choke. I wanna bring it down a little bit further because this one, what I'm gonna do is I'll pull Pete in. When he starts to struggle, I bring his around very, very tight in front of his neck here. I pull down and I choke across. And they call it the paper cut because it's coming across. So one more time, thumb goes inside to the back of the gi. The other hand goes lower on this lapel. As he's struggling around, I move my arm all the way around, and I'm coming here and across with this. Pulling and doing this motion here. Paper cutter. And the last choke that I want to give you guys, it's a really cool one called the Ezekiel choke. It just got real popular for MMA because someone just did it in the UFC. So let me show you this one. So I like this one in gi and no gi. I'll pull the guy in, and I'll wrap this arm around his head, keeping him low. Now, this hand that's around his head, I'm gonna reach inside my sleeve, this one. I'm gonna roll this right arm inside his neck here, and I'm pushing right on in to the Adam's apple. So with nobody on me for a second, I'm grabbing inside my sleeve with my fingers, and then this hand rotates. You could do a chop or even a half fist right into the neck as I push and pull super, super tight. So again, I'm pulling him in, grabbing it tightly here, rolling this inside, pushing and pulling. And they call that the Ezekiel. And I'll tell you what, I'll give you one more bonus one. I'm gonna do the bow and arrow choke. This is one of my favorite ones too. Bow and arrow, taking your hand, fingers down first, straight lapel. So all these ones we've been crossing a lot, this one I wanna go straight with my thumb down. My other thumb is connected to it here. I'm gonna unleash my legs, put my knee in front of him. I pull him in, my knuckles go in to his neck as I push it. They call it the bow and arrow, looks like a bow and arrow. One more time. So I'm grabbing on Pete's key here, low to here. Unleash the legs over the belly. Thumb are touching, knuckles inside, pushing and pulling. Yeah, a nice tap for the bow and arrow. Now real quick, for you guys that aren't into jiu-jitsu and don't do a lot of ground defense, these work really cool for adult karate class. If I have Pete against a mirror, I can actually do these. Pete say grabbing me for a choke say or lapel grab or whatever, I can perform these techniques and chokes say boom on the mirror. Here I can go into say my paper cutter choke or maybe use my bow and arrow to set him up, boom. I could do a lot of these cool chokes standing up too. So not just on the floor, but we can also use it for adult karate classes, kids karate classes up here. Hope you guys liked it. I'm gonna give you guys a couple more videos this week, so let me know. Thanks guys.